This is Twit. So Project Jacquard jacket, you may, it's not a phone. It's not a phone, but it's actually a jean jacket that you can buy from Levi's very soon. Uh, it costs $350. That's because it includes the fact that the threat, uh, that's because the sleeve is threaded with conductive fabric, which helps you control the smartphone. Uh, there are a couple of little articles floating around of people who've had some time to like wear this this jacket and actually use it. Um, it's an interesting concept. It was first shown two years ago at Google I.O. back when it was still at Moscone Center in downtown SF. Um, it's mostly meant for the, you know, the commuter, the person who's on their bike, the person who walks long distances to work, maybe the person who has a long, you know, train ride to work so that you don't have to worry with fumbling around with your phone. You can kind of just control things like uh, like notifications. So there are four gestures which are fully programmable, programmable for control um, just as you're moving about. The only bummer about this though, is that, well, you can only wash it about 10 times before the thread is sort of compromised by the wash. Now, <laughs> I'm curious personally if that means that you can dry clean it, um, since that's a different method of cleaning. And that's how I would clean my jean jacket because I've had my jean jacket since 1996 and I would like to keep it going. Uh, but, you know, if you're spending $350 for a jacket, I mean, you better be taking pretty darn good care of that thing anyway, especially something as sort of beta and well, maybe not beta, but just something so new and 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 different. Uh, it's also worth noting that there is a quote unquote dumb version of this commuter jacket for a hundred and almost 150 bucks. So you're paying about uh -huh. 200 more for the thread integration. It's a cool concept. Who knows? I might buy it for someone for Christmas this year if I <laughs> find that well you know I've, I've, I've got I've got comments I've got many many comments so yeah, first go off, ahead. Actually, I, I want it so yeah. I want to hear what you're gonna say Ron let's let's do this well, well first off I don't think I've worn a jean jacket since 1991 but um, <laughs> I'm still wearing any, one if anybody wants to get me one, I will wear the heck out of this in New York City I love is this what you idea. want for Christmas uh, is this what you're asking I will, me I will give it a test run that said, the the old uh, punk kid in me might be coming out, but I don't think I've ever washed a jacket I own. So that's true. No, no be, you don't wash. You, know, you like, don't wash. Like I, yeah, I have I have a like a, a work like a gas station jacket that that I literally I don't think I've ever washed, and it's just I wear it in the winter, and that's what it is. And you know, like now, admittedly, if it got spilled on or something like that, it might have dry cleaning could be an option, but the, you can only wash it ten times. I don't think that's a problem. Um, and I, 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 this is fantastic. This is the future. I love it. Sign me up. Totally. Uh, I have actually, I read a couple of, I was just reading comments like on Mashable and The Verge, uh, which they had pretty good like hands on time, wear on time, wearing on time. <laughs> yes. uh, and Arms on time. I was, I was reading the comments and a couple of people were saying, there's no way in heck I would wear this thing while I'm biking. Like I want to be free and whatever, you know, this is just like another thing to contend with. Uh, and I don't know. I mean, Ron, do you wear a jean jacket in a cold NYC winter? I haven't worn a jean jacket since 1991. <laughs> That's Okay, then wrong person maybe to ask. <laughs> no, no, you you can't you can't wear. I mean, you're not going to wear it in the winter. I mean, I have my heavy I have my heavy pico yeah. for the winter for the winter months. Um, but the idea of this technology, this is a, this is a first. You know, this is an early entry. But the idea of putting in device controls in a garment like this is, you know, I think really really compelling. I I don't bike to work. I don't bike at all. I I think I've. I think I uh, the last time I rode a bicycle when I was, was when I was wearing a jean jacket in 1991. But um, uh, but I commute and I l use my phone to listen to podcasts, and listen to music, and I skip to the next one. I have to pause it. I do other things like that. You know, I I enjoy not having to take my phone out and having the the headphone cable get tangled in other people yeah. on the subway, which is one of the reasons why I'm leaning towards Bluetooth headphones. Um, but 
um, you know, to be able to do something and have it work. That's pretty cool. I mean, I, 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 that's really neat. I would, if they could integrate this into a sweater or a hoodie or something like that, I would totally consider that as well too. You know, seeing a smartwatch just to control music, you know, like just to have, just to have that interface built in so I don't have to wear anything else. And I mean, the only time I'm going to use that stuff anyway is when I'm all like geared up to go somewhere. Mm-hmm. So, so the thing about this jacket that really confuses me is that I don't think there's anything in that jacket that is actually circuit. There's just some conducting fabric. The, mm-hmm. There's the little yeah. device on the on the on the cuff is is a Bluetooth remote for your phone mm-hmm. that remotes the previous track, next track, and has a little notification LED and a vibration motor, and that you can yeah. remove from the jacket. And that's the actual electronics. So what I'm trying to figure out is what are they using the conductive thread for, and what's so cool about it if it was integrated and washable i would get it and if it's just a remote control with a notification led and a vibration motor uh i'm sorry but a watch that you can wear with any clothes not because a jacket you technically don't wear indoors uh is a much better solution i I don't get it i i I just don't i get the conductive fabric but i don't get it it's not It's innovative and it's a well it is because it's kind of a way to just sort of like integrate this into a really mainstream product versus something that just sort of but only what are they using the really conductive niche. fabric for if the thing is pretty much a standalone little remote on your cuff and it's bluetooth control is the battery in a different part of the jacket is that what it is and the battery is the power is being sent no, to i don't know you? i haven't worn the jacket so this is my no, point yeah. it's like where's the innovation here i don't get it I well, mean, I just remember playing with the little uh, the little demo that they had at Google I.O. a couple of years ago and just pretty cool. being just it's yeah. just being very like impressed with the idea of this this thread that is usually made to make this really sort of inanimate thing that just sort of hangs on me has some sort of smartness to it that connects to this completely different device. And I think just the idea of something semi organic to be to be. I think it's the idea that is is very cool, and the reason it's on sale is, is for the people who want the privilege to to kind of be safe first. As as far as I can remember, recall from kind of my time with it. For num- number one, it was really cool to interact with it, like to have the big the big kind of fabric thread. Move your fingers around, look on the screen, and you could see the touch points and everything. And it was neat to know that there was there was stuff th- threaded into the fabric that was allowing for that. It was just a different type of sensation. But as far as I know, as far as I remember, anyways, that thing that you're plugging it in is kind of the conduit. Like there's some there's some sort of connection activity between that and the space on your sleeve that those threads yeah, are interweaved to. Yeah. So one that side is the control and the other side that is in the electronics. Some way. Yeah. Okay. Well, and that's not clear at all from any of the stuff I've seen. I mean, I remember the demos are good, but those are prototypes. So this is a production yep. unit and yeah. I want to know how it really works. Right? Like, right. To me, like right. right now, it's like if you have to touch the actual electronic unit to do the stuff, then... It's like, you know, you just put a little remote for Android, like right. Bluetooth remote on your cuff with a little pin and you're done. Right? I mean, I mean, it does kind of shatter the illusion a little bit. And the fact that, you know, you've got this this awesome uh, fabric touchpad on your sleeve, but it still has to connect to this, you know, kind of chunky plastic thing that we're so used to having attached to everything. Right. Like it would be magic if it was just that and that was it. But a battery has to be somewhere and some sort of antenna to, to zap that over to your phone has to be somewhere, too. Yeah. So that adds this element of bulk that I think that, you know, they, they tried to make that thing touch, they, well, they made it touch sensitive so you could tap it and kind of interact with it to give it kind of more purpose as well. But it's still, that ends up kind of shattering the illusion a little okay, bit. That changes everything that I, I perceived about it. I, I, I never understood that the cuff itself and the fabric becomes the touch surface that yes. controls the device. It is absolutely that, that. was not clear. And a lot of people are not getting it. I'm reading the comments and read a bunch of articles where people are like, What's the big deal? You put a Bluetooth remote in a jacket. You pin a Bluetooth remote on a jacket. Uh, they're they're fixated on the the little plastic thing yeah. and not the actual surface of the fabric, which Correct. is the thing that makes it really cool. Exactly. <laughs> well, so they, I'd like to see some mainstream coverage of yeah. this too, because I feel like a lot of it's been really concentrated to like tech publications, and so we're all like kind of looking at the you know the really techy. I, I don't know. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't yeah, seen I a agree. lot about it outside of our little bubble is what I'm trying to say. And I'd like to get some outside input on this sort of thing because I think that's eventually where Google wants to take it. This is not this is not just for techies. This is kind of something that's supposed to be, you know, 
Yeah. Inclusive. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying Google Levi, I will wear it. <laughs> Same. We've if, got if one, if one magically appeared at my apartment in New York City, I would be on the streets the next day using it. We yes, review Can we opportunity share it, Ron? here. Please, yeah, sure. I'll pay for yeah. postage. <laughs> we, we, we don't need to wash it, so it'll be fine. Uh, yeah, uh, well, I don't know how you would feel about me wear it, but, uh, you know. <laughs> hey, vice, hey, hello, vice versa. <laughs>